Good morning, everyone, and welcome to The Daily Blue. This is Realty Connects Long Island, and I'm your host, Corinne Caro. I'm here along with Michael Artelino. <laughs> and John Fitzgerald, welcome today. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. I yeah, think, we are I think missing Michael Mike. Michael made it today. Michael couldn't make the show today. He He's was frozen busy. somewhere. <laughs> yeah. It was six degrees and he couldn't make it. So yeah. that was it. You know. Well, but we have six here. degrees of separation right now. So that's it. That's yes. all we need. That's all we need. We got it together here. And we have a great informative show today on something that I no know nothing about uh, PMI. We're going to talk a little bit about mortgage insurance. Yeah, PMI and MIP, which is both mortgage insurance and. And the big thing about that is the government just made a new decision uh, about reducing, the government's actually going to lower, on FHA loans, they're going to lower the mortgage insurance premiums. And that's a big thing for the average consumer buying a house. Sure. The mortgage insurance premiums now are 1.35% of the borrowed amount per year. It's going down to 0.85%. So that's a substantial savings for a consumer who's about to purchase a home in their monthly payment. Is that what the government has mandated or suggested? Um, no, that's a new policy okay. for FHA loans. Okay. So it's going to take, it has actually taken effect, I believe, just right at the end of January. So it's an exciting thing for people who are buying a home because a mortgage insurance premium is a lot of money monthly. Just for argument's sake, if you borrowed $100,000, mm -hmm. you would have a $1,350 mortgage insurance premium per year, divide that by 12, so you'd be paying $112 a month just for your mortgage insurance. Right, wow. Where the new program would have you paying $70. That's great. So okay, more money in our pocket. We're yeah. always fond of that. If it was a $200,000 loan, you'd be doubling those numbers, doubling the savings. Okay. And for the average consumer who's buying a home through an FHA loan with 3% down, maybe even financing their closing costs, that extra $70, $140, $220 a month is a huge savings. Oh, definitely. But is mortgage insurance, is it mandatory? You have to have it? Yes. Okay. That's a good question. On a, a, any, there's two types of mortgage insurance. There's uh, PMI and MIP. And the, <laughs> yes, or LOL or... No. <laughs> On TGIF. Yes, I, exactly. I needed mine. So the FHA has MIP, which is mortgage insurance premiums, and a conventional loan has PMI, which okay. is purchase money insurance. And if you put down less than 20% in purchasing a loan on a conventional loan, you have to have mortgage insurance. Okay. And what that does is it protects the lender if there's a foreclosure. Okay. They get that mortgage insurance for anything less than the LTV of 20% down. So if you put 10% down, that insurance is going to cover the other 10%. So if the lender has to foreclose, okay. they're still in the loan for only 80%, not 90 or 100% because they've got insurance for the, other, for the difference on the down right. payment. And it's only for the mortgage that you're taking out, not for the entire house. Correct. Just right. whatever the payment. mortgage is, it just insures that. Okay. But the LTV or the loan to value, that ha that's basically based on the entire purchase price. So if you're going to put 20% down, it's 20% down to the entire purchase price. Okay. So I get it. I understand. So, so when will this be in effect? It is now. But the okay. really cool news from what I understand on this, and you should, you should get in touch with a uh, mortgage loan officer. We happen to love uh, CHL Mortgage. Yes. They're fantastic. So uh, if you're thinking about buying a home and you want an FHA loan, CHL is a great company to be in touch with. They're wonderful. And if you contact us, we'll give you their information, who to talk to, and uh, they'll give you every piece of information you need. But I, we're but not giving you your cell phone number out freely? Not yet, no. <laughs> <laughs> but if you already have an FHA loan, yeah. You can actually now apply for this savings. Okay. So this applies. So if you're in the real estate industry and you've recently sold a house to someone, you should call that person and let them know about this advantage that they can take of saving money every month. So you can readjust. Yes. You don't act, wow, I can't yes. believe that. So would that's you have a to, really you don't, great thing. I know you're not a mortgage broker or anything, but would you have to rewrite your policy, I would no. think? Or just no, an adjustment. No, you can take advantage of this. There okay. probably will be some cost to it, but it would be minimum compared to paying an extra 150, 200, 300 dollars a month for the next sure. 30 years. Sure. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So Interesting. Good stuff. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. Really Savings. Good stuff. So we it's nice that you that. can, you know, get something back every now and then from the government. So yeah, I like that a lot. Savings. This is excellent. Now I know you have uh, some great announce and then like Yes, announcement. we do. <laughs> We're not really making. We can make the announcement. I think it's it's actually public as of now. I don't know. 
Uh, all of you know that the Realty Connect show is obviously from Realty Connect USA Long Island. And um, we have a, a huge company that's doing really, really well in the industry. And we're really excited about it. And the growth is just fantastic. And we folded in several companies. And now, as of, I guess I can make the announcement today, the Westcott Group is going to fold into our company. Nice. and start working as Realty Connect agents. That's wonderful. Congratulations. So, yeah, I'm very excited about it. Thank you. And Westcott is in Babylon. They're in Babylon. Right. And they have a fantastic reputation. They're an excellent company. Quality service is amazing there. So they fit our culture perfectly, and we fit their culture. So they're going to combine all that great expertise and service with our technology and our internet presence in our marketing. That's wonderful. It's going to enhance everything they do. And of course, it's going to enhance our company. So it's really cool. That's thing. wonderful. Yeah. And you have an office right over there. So yes, they're moving into our office on uh, Deer Park Avenue. That's in great. Babylon. So very exciting. Yeah, very good. That's and good news. Yeah, good. I'm glad to announce it here first. It is a first right here. The, I think the we haven't even put it out in the industry. I think the first ad is coming out about it. The first promotional piece is probably this week. That's right. excellent. So this, well, you heard it first right here in the right Daily Boat. That's right. You know? <laughs> and I know you have some exciting news too. We do, and actually you're a part of it. So we have been, we have some news about Long Island Business News that's really just coming out and oh, here that, also. I love that publication, that's We're, great. Yeah, me too. Uh, great people over there. I always love the paper. And uh, of course it's Long Island's premier business uh, business publication. That's where the information is. If you want it, you'll get it right there. So we're doing a bit of uh, some stuff digitally with them and Realty I'm Connects. You're not telling me everything, I'm but not. something big is in the works. <laughs> yeah, something big is in the works. So yeah, we are excited, but but uh, you will be the first to know. And uh, Realty Connects actually will be uploading uh, one of our shows to one of their digital um, video section that they're just starting right now. So in addition mm. to some big news that will be coming out soon, you guys will... We got the little you, bit of the news now. You got the little now. bit We're of the news now. Started. Yeah, okay, right, we have cool. some really good stuff happening. Nice. Really good Congratulations. alliance. I Thank know you. you guys are growing leaps and bounds. We're so happy to be associated with you. I know. Um, yeah. Here I too. This Definitely. Show. It's good stuff. So, and we get more and more consumers calling in and telling us how great the show is. So that's I'm great. very happy to hear yeah. that. I hear that from a lot of other real estate companies, yeah, which well. is exciting. So that's good stuff here. Um, I want to talk a little bit about the event that we have coming up that, that was postponed because of the snow. And hopefully, you know, I know we're getting more snow, but let's hope that it stays. Yes, yeah. yes. Well, um, as you know, the, one of the presidents of the chapter for the uh, National Association of Hispanic Realtors happens to be a, a Realty Connect agent, Annie Torres. And they're running an event here in, I think, the next couple of weeks. And we'll get the date out to everybody on the next show. Yeah. And that's the National Association of Hispanic Realtors are going to be doing an event here on Long Island. And we'll be there. And I think the Daily we'll Blue is going to be there, be there. And it's going to be televised. And uh, people are flying in from uh, different areas, California. It's a and, huge thing. Yeah, it's a huge event. And there is a tremendous uh, uh, amount of business going on in that Hispanic community. And right here on Long Island, yeah. Yeah, we're just You're really seeing a, part of it. a real boom in that market. And Annie is so Annie's sweet. Great. She's the best. She's yeah. very nice. She's the best. Really like her so a lot. We're really excited about that. That's excellent yeah, news. So, Good. Yeah. And we have other things happening in the community. Uh, we have want to talk some about some community I events? would really love that. Unless yeah. you want to keep talking about PMI. No. You have nothing else to say about no, that. No, we have enough PMI, and, and it's, it's. PMI. The, the, don't, let's not go there. Um, but the big thing <laughs> is take advantage of this. If you have an FHA mortgage, Cool. Find out about it. Take advantage of it. Sure. If you could save yourself seventy, hundred, forty, two hundred and twenty dollars a month. And since it seems that call, most of the population has this, yeah. because you have to have it. The then FHA, I think, oh yeah. I'm yeah, calling right after the show. Okay. <laughs> I'll announce to everybody how much I've saved. <laughs> that's it. Next week on the show, we'll put our savings on. Right. Exactly. So let's talk about the community events. Let's, let's see do what's it. going on. Okay. What do we have happening? Oh, first we got to see. Oh, John Wayne's coming. No. What is that? <laughs> oh. You make a great John Wayne, John. <laughs> Not me. No, no. Yeah. So the searchers hosted by Alec Baldwin. Oh, Alec Baldwin's going to be here that. on Long Island. That's great in the Hamptons. And Look this is that. what a screening of this. Fantastic. Twenty two dollars per person, and that's out in the Hamptons. Fantastic. That's Are you February playing John? 7th. No, I'll be there handing out autographs of <laughs> you know almost John Wayne will sign. Good. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, that sounds that excellent. I love like that. that. 
and wine and comedy. That sounds really <laughs> great. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You either have wine and you're funny or you're you know what? going I, there for the comedy. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Or you'll just be laughing a lot more. I would be laughing a lot more. Yeah. And I'm actually funny when I'm drinking so Are you really? Wine. Yeah, oh, I'm actually funny. I've never seen you drink. <laughs> we have to make that happen. <laughs> okay. One of our Realty Connect well, go events. go to this. Yeah, I would love to. Uh, actually, one of our clients is Frosé. It's a wine sorbet. And this sounds like something oh, that they fantastic. should should be involved in. So that's uh, Saturday, February 7th from 8 to 9.30. This is probably Ospreys. really good for the comedians, like you said, because you laugh when you're on wine, even if the jokes aren't all that funny. Right. So the comedians should have a much <laughs> Look at her event. walking yeah. <laughs> right yeah. to the bathroom. Yes. <laughs> right. So that's at the that's great. That sounds fun. Dominion Winery in the Peconics, I guess. I've heard a lot of the good things about that. Excellent. That wine, place. comedy, raffles, and more. Oh, oh, Valentine's Day is coming up. Thank you for up. Me. Whoever put this slide up, thank you very much. My honey, wife appreciates this yeah, slide. Just, I uh, guarantee honey, it. I now have a savings uh, on our PMI. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> you think Day. that'll do it? I don't <laughs> think so. <laughs> well, once I got a freezer and once I got a... a freezer a, for Valentine's Day? And once I got a, a carpet cleaner. That wasn't a message. That I no longer freezer, own either. It was just a freezer. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it was a freezer. <laughs> oh, okay. A big freezer, which thank God I have now. Because my, my freezer, uh, my beautiful Sub-Zero doesn't even open anymore. So thank God I got that freezer one Valentine's Day. So Valentine's Day was special. So something happened to that yeah. other freezer. Excellent. It's perfect. Yeah, I can't see a freezer or a blender or a coffee maker for Valentine's Day. I don't think the girls would appreciate that. What do you, you know, mm -hmm. if it enhances your life <laughs> in some capacity, then <laughs> I do want to remind everybody always to, we hadn't mentioned it before, to call or text John 516-702- Five four zero six. Thanks, Brandon. <laughs> They're holding up signs now because she forgets the number every week. How long are you doing the show? Or years? If you, I know. Yeah. Or if you'd like to call him and wish him Happy Valentine's Day. Or send me a freezer. <laughs> Or a vacuum cleaner. Or a vacuum for Valentine's Day. Wait, wait. I did yeah. miss that last uh, community event. What was it? It was. Let's go back. Uh, oh. Yeah, okay, this, so uh, the Clarion Hotel in Ronkonkoma. Yeah, gold. Oh, this sounds really yeah, cool. Jewelry, everything, yeah, handbags, makeup. So if you guys are on the way home and you hadn't gotten anything, swing into the hotel in Ronkonkoma, grab I a gift, think that's and a great you'll be idea. a hero. Yeah, you know? I think that's a great idea. I know yeah. that we're having um, the couples event. Um, aren't we having something at the Holiday Inn in Westbury? Oh, those are the packages that we're doing for Valentine's Day. Nice. But, but, yeah, Am so, I invited? Of course, always. Oh, okay. I mean, so we're not sure. having a party at the hotel without you. Don't worry. Thank you. Okay, I was <laughs> For concerned. Valentine's Day. I was concerned. <laughs> Some you know people might find Val that weird, John. <laughs> you know what I love about Valentine's Day is when you go into the florist, every man is in there at 5 o'clock on his way home trying to get something, anything. You know? yeah, it doesn't anything. really matter what it is anymore. No. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it really doesn't. You gotta get something. Here's snow, honey. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> right. yeah. That, that last rose, the one that's bent over, can you tape it? Can I get that? Yeah. Yeah. I did have one Valentine's Day where we owned a florist and it wasn't any fun. My Not wife at all. used to be a floral designer. Oh, good Lord. She worked all the holidays. Yeah, that's, that's tough. Terrible. Restaurants yeah. and florists. Yep. But not in our industry, thank goodness. And uh, no, no, we'll be we can be Valentine's flexible. Day. Right, time. which yeah, is Valentine's very day. nice. And still be doing mm -hmm. our job and connecting on the internet. The yep. great thing about the internet. We wish you all a happy Valentine's Day. We'll, be see, we'll see everybody before then, sure, right? Absolutely. Sure, right. Absolutely. We just want to remind you guys to start shopping early. Right. It's yeah. just a reminder. Yeah, right. But call or text John, 516-702-5406, and every week we'll see you here on The Daily Blue. Please ask questions. You can tweet us, Facebook us. Remember that The Daily Blue is a social network, so you can even correspond with John on any of the shows, Well, or Michael, if he comes. Yeah, Michael will be here in a minute. <laughs> Any minute. He's on That's great. Well, thank you for joining us today on The Daily Blue. We'll see you next week, every Friday at 1130. Uh, right now, we're going to see our new listings. And remember that they're only just a little bit of the listings that we have. They're, if you don't see the house you want, we have thousands and thousands of houses in our inventory. So if you don't see the house you want on the new listings, please give us a call. I'm sure we can help you. Thank you for joining us on Realty Connects Long Island. This has been Corinne Caro along with my host, John Fitzgerald. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Good show. Always great. great. I can't Always believe great. your news. That's fantastic. I can't believe your news. That's exciting. <laughs> That's good stuff. <laughs> really good stuff. If you so have I a real estate question, send us an email at realtyconnectsli at gmail.com or text us at 516-702-5406 and we'll answer your question live on Realty Connects Long Island. Our first listing this week is a condominium unit on 231 Spring Meadow Drive in Holbrook, on for $262,000.
it features a newly renovated kitchen with granite counters, a newly renovated bath with a jacuzzi tub, and a master bedroom suite with sliding glass doors to the balcony. Call Catherine Trainer at 631-881-5502 for more details. The next new listing is on 22 Whitmore Lane in Corum, listed at $315,000. This three-bedroom ranch boasts a comfy den with a fireplace, vaulted ceilings, hardwood floors throughout, central air, and an updated kitchen with granite and stainless steel appliances. Call Suzanne LeBoner at 631-870-7247 or Julie Poitamani at 631-881-5957. Mary Ann de Blasi brings us our next new listing from Oakdale at 6 Daria Drive, priced at $329,000. This is a lovely two-bedroom corner unit in a great 55 and over community. It features central air, a clubhouse, and a community in-ground pool. Contact Mary Ann for more info at 631-881-5946. We move to Holbrook for a new listing on 280 Elizabeth Avenue, offered at $329,999. Here is a beautiful home with tons of updates. It boasts a living room with a fireplace, a formal dining room, new stainless steel appliances, and an updated bath with a jacuzzi. Call Ryan Ranalone today at 631-706-3226. Here we have a new listing on 1 Imperial Drive in Miller Place, on for $339,000. Located in Imperial Gardens, it offers four bedrooms, a family room with a wood-burning fireplace, an Eden kitchen, and pergo flooring, all on over a half acre of property. Call Richard Ledoux for details at 631-706-4564. Priced at $365,000 is this four-bedroom ranch in Riverhead on 31 Atwater Street. It features a formal living room, a large eat-in kitchen, a master bedroom with a full master bath, a full basement with eight-foot ceilings, and a private yard with a large deck for entertaining. Contact Jody Fine at 631-881-5170 for more information. Our next listing is a completely remodeled and expanded colonial in Farmingville on 36 Woodbury Road, listed at $429,900. With an open floor plan, this home boasts an eat-in kitchen with granite countertops and maple counters, a family room with a fireplace, and a full basement with an outside entrance. Call David Oakley today at 631-533-9322. In Comac, we have another new listing, this one on 95 Wichert Boulevard, priced at $519,000. This is a great house, priced right, to allow for updates to make it your own. It has a large master suite, hardwood floors, a large full basement, and the property backs a beautiful preserve. Call Carrie Garasio at 631-870-7250 or Betty Davenport at 631 631- 223-7778. Gordon Lewis and Paul Musso bring us our next new listing at 56 Willow Ridge Drive in Smithtown, on for $519,000. Located in Willow Ridge Homeowners Association, this Canterbury model has a huge master bedroom suite with two walk-in closets, a den and living room, both with fireplaces, and a community in-ground pool. Call Gordon today at 631-881-5582 or Paul at 631-881-5164. Our last listing of the day is 19 Stafford Drive in South Huntington, listed for $545,000. A lovely three bedroom, two and a half bath ranch on an acre of property featuring updated siding, windows and central air, solar panels, a 10-zone in-ground sprinkler system, and a full finished basement with heat and air conditioning. Contact Sharon Savarese at 
1-800-926-7780 or Sarah Mansouri Afadi at 631-971-1868. Contact a Realty Connect USA agent today. Connected to over 20,000 available listings on Long Island. If there's a home out there for you, we'll find it.